During the Galactic Empire's reign, the title of Warlord of the Empire was a symbolic title appointed by Emperor Palpatine to only the very skilled and loyal soldiers of the Empire. However, the fragmentation of the Empire after the Emperor's death, the title of Warlord of the Empire was simply used as Warlord. Many Imperials who later proclaimed themselves with the title were not worthy of its meaning. This video will focus on the self-promoted Warlord ranks of the Fracturing Empire while separate Imperial factions began to emerge. I will start with the Imperials who proclaimed themselves as a Warlord and self-promoted themselves with an unrecognised Imperial rank in the aftermath years following the Battle of Endor in 4 ABY. Prior to 4 ABY the title was awarded by Palpatine precisely to Imperial officers who had displayed the ingenuity considered to be exceptional. Officers awarded with the title did not require a code cylinder or a rank plaque as their authority spanned all branches of the Imperial military. Only Zinj and Thrawn were ever awarded with one of the highest honours the Galactic Empire could bestow upon its military officers. In the aftermath of the Battle of Endor in 4 ABY, the Empire spiralled into chaos and immediately most Imperials began to seize the Imperial resources and territory they could claim from each other. With the New Republic slow to stabilise their authority across the galaxy, even smaller sectors were claimed by some power-hungry Imperials who were not worthy of the title of Warlord in the wake of Palpatine's demise at Endor. However, as well as assuming the self-promotion title of Warlord, some of the better known Imperials gave themselves a self-appointed rank. Blitzer Haas became the first Imperial Warlord after Endor and travelled to the Deep Core and established Zero Command, the first breakaway Warlord Kingdom of the Empire. Although during his Imperial service he was recognised for his tactical genius, he never acquired Warlord of the Empire title. After Haas secured the Deep Core territory, he self-appointed himself from his original pre-Endor rank of Admiral to the rank called Lord High Admiral, with no recognised status outside his dominion. After the Empire surviving fleet retreated from the crushing defeat at Endor, Moff Deleron ignored the Imperial fleet's call and immediately proclaimed himself the title of Warlord of Wild Space inside the Svex system and conquered the planet of Bornta. Xander Del Vardos was one such warlord who gave themselves the rank of Superior General when establishing the Iriado Authority as his own Imperial Splinter Faction and surrounding areas in the galaxy's outer rim. Forming his own Imperial Splinter Faction, known as the Greater Maldrud, Truton Teradoc also established himself as an independent warlord and self-promoted himself to the rank of High Admiral. In 5 ABY, Dalek Krennel, who was an admiral in the Imperial Navy prior to Endor, assassinated St. Pestige on Citric IV and broke away from the remaining remnant of the Galactic Empire. He assumed control as a warlord over 25 worlds of the Citric Agenomy and gave himself the unrecognised Imperial rank of Prince Admiral. Also in 5 ABY, the mysterious former Director of Intelligence Kronal gave himself the unusual title of Shadowspawn and proclaimed himself as a warlord. His Imperial Splinter Faction opposed the New Republic for a brief period. In the same year once again, a three-eyed mutant called Trioclius self-proclaimed himself as a Warlord of the Galactic Empire, but also declared himself as Emperor a year after the Battle of Endor on the premise that he was the son of Palpatine. Trioclius led his own Imperial faction known as the Central Committee of Grand Moffs in opposition to Yasani Isard until his death in the same year. In 10 ABY, the self-promoted rank of Omnipotent Battle Leader was the title taken by several minor Imperial Warlords and was even used by the reborn Galactic Emperor Palpatine of the Dark Empire to gain support from other Warlords, but also to keep his identity hidden until the time was right to reveal himself. In 13 ABY, the former Imperial Assassin Enix Devian proclaimed himself as Supreme Commander of the Restored Empire. This was a splinter faction from the Imperial Remnant which had formed from the Galactic Empire. There were many other Imperial Moffs, Admirals and mid-level officers who self-proclaimed themselves as Warlords, including prominent leaders such as Zinj, Ardas Kane and Terranor Screed. However, the characters mentioned in this video appeared to be the ones who awarded themselves strange and unrecognised Imperial military ranks until their deaths from Imperial infighting or were defeated in battle by the New Republic. Subscribe to the channel for more Imperial videos. Thank you for watching, long live the Empire, and as always, may the Force be with you.